Hey, what's up everyone? This video is going to be regarding people that look like you and situations regarding that. A few days ago, actually, it might have been yesterday. It was yesterday. We went to the grocery store down the road, probably five miles down the road at the, at the Dollar General, that they built this Dollar General close to us. And when I was checking out, and I was helping everyone in the store that they were dropping things and messing and just messing up, just dropping things and all kinds of stuff, and I picked it up for them, and I just enjoy helping people. And um, there was these, uh, this girl and this, this woman dropped things, this girl dropped things, and I helped them. But they, uh, at, when I was going through the checkout line, the guy behind the counter, the boy said, he said, do you work at Walmart? And I said, no. Um, I said, why is that? And he said, there's a guy that looks just like you. Now, there's a Mandela Effect situation he, with this as well. The M.E. situation is, he has asked me that before. That guy, but he doesn't remember asking me that. He thought it was the first time he'd ever asked me if I worked at that Walmart. And another situation, other people have asked me as well at other, in a, at other places if I worked at that Walmart. So, continuing the conversation, he said, because there's a guy that looks just like you. He said, I thought, you know, I thought maybe you cut your hair or something and, and uh, cut it off shorter that uh, you might have been... He said he, uh, he said he actually has longer hair than I do. And he said, I thought maybe that he had cut his hair off shorter. And I said, oh, really? He said, yeah, he, lock, he walks like you, he talks like you, has the same mannerisms as you, every every look, everything. He said he has every detail that I have. And he said, it's really freaky. He said, it freaked me out when I, I he said, that's creepy that that's not, that you're not him. And I said, no, I don't work there. I don't work at the, I mean, I mean, that's, that's not me. And he stated, he said, wow, that's crazy. And uh, he started talking about, he said, you know, an interesting situation, he said his professor, which is, you know, a teacher at college, I guess, that, I don't know why they call them professors, but he said that they told them that she had an intimate, or not intimate, but a detailed conversation with this person that looked just like him a few days ago. I run into these people all the time, these kinds of people that just start talking about these strange things. I just seem to attract these kinds of people and just run into them all the time. But we're the crazies. No, I'm just kidding. But um, we are the crazy people. I'm just kidding. I'm joking completely, but got to have a little humor, I guess. But the, uh, the anyway, uh, continuing the story, he told me that she started talking to this person. She tapped on their shoulder and said, hey, how have you been? And they looked just like him. And she w kept going and going, going on with the conversation for about 15 minutes. And then into the conversation, he said, I don't know who you think I am, but he said, I'm not who you think I am. I'm not so-and-so. And, uh, he said, she went, what? Really? Like, the, you look just like him. Why, why? I'm like, why didn't you tell me? First of all, it's kind of rude that he just let her keep talking, whoever it was. I mean, if that was just a normal person, that's kind of rude that they just let her keep talking as if they just, as if they acted like they were that person. But, yeah. And he stated that, no, I'm not who you think I am. And she was like, man, you look just like him. You look like him, act like him. And he told him, he told me, that's creepy that there's another guy out there that looks, acts, sounds, and has the same mannerisms and everything as I do. He said, that's creepy to think that someone is ex the exact height, weight, and, and has the same mannerisms and disposition and, and look. She said, every detail was the same. She said every freckle, every detail was exactly the same on that person. Which, I'm wondering, is it some sort of a shapeshifter situation? Or is it an actual, quote-unquote, doppelganger situation? Or um, a double of a living person? Now, they call it an apparition or a double of a living person. They're like a look-alike of a living person. Now, sometimes it can be a ghostly or paranormal phenomenon and usually seen as a harbinger of bad luck, but other traditions and stories equate a doppelganger with an evil twin, and uh, 
It's just, it's a look-alike, a person that looks just like you. And some people have made a third look-alike. It's been happening a lot since, if you'll notice, since 2015. Since this Man Mandela effect really took off. I mean, if you look, look I mean, if you, if you think about it, that was on Inside Edition, and, I mean, since 2015, the Mandela Effect, when that really took off, this look-alike situation has been taking off. So, that's what he told me. He stated that there's someone that works at Walmart that looks just like me, and he said, that's kind of creepy that they could rob a bank or do something, or do some kind of major crime, and they would, like look at you and come after you and be like uh, and, he, and nope you're saying no I'm not that person uh, I live in so and so I live here like I'm just I'm just right here I'm not them and uh, and he stated that's kind of creepy that someone else looks like you and he said you know they say we all have a double I said yeah they do I said they call that a, a doppelganger situation he said you know that's real that's true and but I didn't get into the whole ME phenomenon, phenomenon and all that but I have had people bring it up, and I have been fortunate enough to meet people randomly who were experiencing the Mandela Effect, and similar like-minded individuals and strange people, situations with strange people. I was in Walmart and seen this baby, with this child with black eyes, pitch black eyes in the cart, and the mother, I'm obviously, was obviously was not going to obviously just take a picture of their child, that would be weird or strange or creepy. May I take a picture of your child? Yeah, that's going to work out. <laughs> that would be just... <clears throat> that would be creepy. But anyway. Just to randomly take a picture of someone's child or baby. No, I'm not going to do that. But, yeah. Uh, I wish you could have seen it, though. I wish you could have seen the... Um, I know people do take picture, though, pictures and videos of random you know, places and people for art. But, I mean, that's one thing. But, you know. Anyway, um, yeah, they, uh, this child had pitch black eyes, and, uh, there was a situation, yeah, but yeah, that's the conversation that I had, about someone that looked just like me, and he had someone that looked just like him, and she said, he stated that, uh, that his professor found someone that looked just like her, and, uh, I promised I would make a video, I'll do that next. There's so much to talk about. I've got so many videos I'm making tonight. I promised I'd make a video about this situation. This this person told me, yes, please make a video on it. So I will. Regarding uh, my daddy seeing this uh, billboard. Seeing this billboard that had a person that looked like me on it. I mean, every detail was the same, he, he stated. He said, I wish I could have got a picture of it. So let me go ahead and tell you that story in the next video. I'm going to end this video here. Give me your thoughts. And peace, much love, and that's all for this video. Bye.